So what did the little girls want to do with the scary green monster? They wanted to hug. They wanted to hug the green monster, put them, put him in a cage. What do you think about that? I think that's very mean. Who was being mean? The green monster. The green monster was being mean? Yeah. What's up guys? Today we are going to be reacting to Sesame Place Racism. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen this clip online of the Sesame Place Racism. Now, initially when Jory and I saw the clip, he thought, well I did too, that it was a misunderstanding. Because mm -hmm. the, you know, you don't see a whole lot from that clip. It was just something very small, right. short, and you don't see everybody on this side or that side or what's going around. Mm -hmm. But since then, it's been like weeks, a couple, well, no, a couple of days since the clip. Now more clips have come out. I was actually sitting on the floor watching one of the clips and trying to keep Ellie away from my phone. But if you have children, you know, <laughs> you have your phone and they all gather around you. So Ellie, I guess glanced at it guys not even for more than like I don't know 10 seconds mm -hmm. and she understood what was going on and so we just thought it would be cute to get her reaction and try and figure out what did she see you know and so we're gonna roll that clip right here so can you see the people yes look right there in the lens I into do. the circle okay. okay so I have a question for you yes so, you saw something on Mama's phone. Can you tell them what you saw? So, there was a green bed thing, there was two small girls, and then uh, they, they were talking about them. The girls were trying to kiss the scary green monster, and then it just went off. What went off? The, the green monster. The green monster ran off? Yeah. Oh, what do you think about that? Walked off. To like, hug his friends, I guess. To hug his friends? What did the little girls want to do with the scary green monster? They wanted to hug... They wanted to hug the green monster, put them... Put him in a cage. But they wanted... They wanted to go to the park with them. Oh. Um, the scary green monster, he just ran off with his friends. So he didn't want to be with them, huh? No. Oh. What do you think about that? I think that's very mean. Who was being mean? The green monster. The green monster was being mean? Yeah. yeah. Comment down below if you want to see it. <laughs> Very good, Ellie. Very good. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Mom, Mom, do you want to, do you want to like press the video and they can see it? Yes, I'll press the video for them to watch. <laughs> Thank you, Eliana. Good yes. job, Ellie. So you guys saw Eliana's <laughs> reaction. That girl is something else. So now we're going to be reacting to the clips, more of the clips that came out to get our reaction to see what we think about mm -hmm. the whole racism, the whole, you know, Sesame Street. Like, well, I, I don't know. Did you mm -hmm. ever grow up watching Sesame Street? Uh, we didn't have really you ever have watch it? I've seen a, some, but yeah. well, we didn't have a TV for a long time growing up. So yeah, I've, yeah, I've seen a few. Yeah. yeah, I could sing the song or whatever. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I'm not yeah, going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is My favorite um, character was Elmo. Oh, a little red guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Elmo. La 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 la. Elmo world. Anyway, so let's go ahead and react to this character Rosita completely ignoring two young black girls during a parade when they visibly reached out their arms for a high five. Yeah, outrage continued as more footage of similar incidents at the park were posted online. Calls to boycott Sesame Place also continue to grow on social media. Now Sesame Place has offered multiple shifting explanations. It's weird, isn't it? Because yeah. that time I actually saw a little white hand. Yeah. And then an adult white lady white, yeah both got a high five but these two little black girls got nothing, nothing. yeah that <laughs> was that? yeah so when i saw that clip i was like wait a minute is there a is there a like you can't go across this yellow line restriction I, I don't know <laughs> i don't know are you reaching out i know but Bruh. but it doesn't make sense to me because i'm like 2022 a very visible place like Sesame Place. Right. 
can't be racist. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. what comes in my mind. Like, there's no way. Yeah. It would kill their business. There's you no way. <laughs> you say yellow line. <laughs> I thought about the police that pulled me over. Oh, he told man. me I touched the, the yeah. yellow line. I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that time when I saw that there was a little hand yeah. and in a, and he went around or she went around like yeah, high-fiving those people. There was a high-five to a little white right. hand. We had to take a break because Miss Ellie wanted some attention. Mm -hmm, as usual. <laughs> it's a bedtime, so we're recording a bedtime. She's but like, I could hear you guys laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when I saw the little child's hand yeah. and the adult hand, I was mm -hmm. like, wait a minute. That yeah. just looks really yeah. sad. Like that, that broke my heart a little like bit. Like a contrast, you know, right? to see like, and so, and then there was also like, there was like a no right. to someone taller right before the little girls. Yeah. So it makes you wonder, was that taller person black too? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't see them, but. I, what I don't understand is why the, couple of yeses right and then a no right what well, that doesn't make sense that, that's just weird to me anyway um now we're gonna go ahead and look at sesame um apology letter mm -hmm. the their initial apology letter All we're right. gonna react to that cool. next Claims that the actor in the costume couldn't see the young black girls they since assured park goers they will conduct bias training and a thorough review of the ways in which they engage with families and guests. Uh, yes, so Sesame Place also added in a follow-up statement, we sincerely apologize to the family for their experience in our park on Saturday. We know that it's not okay. Didn't see them. The, the character clearly went, no. No, yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't respond to something you don't see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But it's interesting <laughs> how it was initially they couldn't see the character didn't see the little right children. and then they went then to we like, sincerely apologize, apologize. Yeah, and that it's you. not okay so it's like mm. i'm curious now i want to know who runs sesame place like what's the history mm. it's odd to us why the state these types of statements are so they're not sincere at times uh, instead of just saying, we don't know what went on, we're going to look into it. Yeah. I would prefer that type of response versus a response that you have to backpedal. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and correct and just just wait till you get on information and then come out and yep. give a one solid yeah, response. Yeah, I can agree with that. Look yeah. into it. It could have been something more innocent than innocent, it appears. Right. But boy, does it appear weird. Really weird. <laughs> so let's now go on to... The history of Rosetta. Oh, okay. Apparently, there's there's a history of someone that dresses like Rosetta and plays her character. Oh, so okay. let's react to that. Okay. Rosita seems to be a repeat offender. Do, yeah. And another character, and another character did guy. this. Wow. And there goes Rosita again. Rosita needs to be fired. If Rosita has a lot of... There goes Rosita again. Rosita. Okay. Rosita. If you have to that kid gets a hug, that other one doesn't. Rosita have someone with her who, if she is having some sort of visible... And I feel bad that we keep saying she because it could be a man under there. We're, we don't know. But, like, there could be someone helping her to guide her to the kids who are, like, looking yeah. for her. That should maybe be the new policy, you all. So, like, there was clearly two young girls. One yeah. was white, the other was black. She hugs, she proceeds to hug the white girl, yeah. but dismisses the black girl. Huh. Yeah, so, I think they need to at least kind of look into it. Right. Yeah, because I, honestly, like, I don't want to sound like that white guy. No, you're but, fine. But, like, who's curating these clips? These three-second clips? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Is there a clip somewhere where she hugs a black girl and not a white girl? You know what I mean? That's that's like, a fair. But in fairness, yeah, look fair. into it. Right. Like, right. But my thing is, they go on to say that they're going to go ahead and teach people in their their company how to be more inclusive. Like, right. Well, these are just statements that people make, companies make when they don't want heat. I, I, and I get that. <laughs> but my thing is, if you have to be taught how to be kind to a child, that is weird. Right, it is, yeah. That's just, yeah. I mean, I look at you weird. Right. Even if it's just a statement, it's like, but as a child. Right, so it could be that the person who is inside that costume mm -hmm. has a problem. Or it could be a company thing. 
I don't know. Right. No, I'm not. Yeah, it was strange seeing that purple that was character. Weird. Pushing like, pushing the, yeah, like, that's not okay. I don't know. I don't know. Was. But from, like, like we said, we don't, we don't see all the angles. And like Jory said, we don't know who is coming up with these three second clips because they could very well be a moment where she does hug a black child and not right. a white child. But for now, we have that from has not surfaced. See, from what I see, it looks pretty messed up. Yeah, it looks pretty racist. I would like to racist. have some more context. Yeah. yeah, pretty, like there might be some biases in yeah. there, but that's only based on what we've seen. Now, if there are you know, more videos that surface that where she is being neutral, then we could just, we could assume that was a, you know, maybe a misunderstanding in those clips. Right. It's just early to tell. I think more information is needed. Is needed. Yeah. But to, it was interesting to have even Eliana go, that's not right. What? Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> you barely even saw the clip, little girl. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I feel sorry for the two little girls yeah. that did experience that. Yeah. Nothing hurts more than being rejected and yeah. seeing other people being like received. Right. Um, and it, it would be hard, especially on that age, because you're impressionable mm -hmm. during that time. Yeah. Of, you know, anyways. Yeah. I try really hard to teach my kids that life's not fair. Yeah. And, um, maybe there's racism going on. Maybe yeah. it was a parade and not everybody could get hugs. Hugs. But that clip looked pretty suspect. <laughs> but I'll say if like a situation like that happened where like, candy was being tossed right and you didn't get a piece of candy like that's, that's life yeah but in this case it looks a little sketchy yeah, so i would does. hope they would at least look into look it. into it having said that i'm always trying to tell my kids don't expect fair because yeah. life is not fair it, especially <clears throat> being that they are mixed children right like they they will as as parents we've experienced unfairness mm -hmm. um and as children, they're definitely going to feel that. So right. we, all we can do is teach our children how to strengthen themselves mm -hmm. and encourage themselves. Mm -hmm. That was our two cents, mm -hmm. <laughs> our reaction and Ellie's. Comment down below <laughs> if you have any other videos you would like for us to react to. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.